Special elite agent Ji Dong Chol is abandoned by his country, loses his family, and defected to South Korea. His only goal is to find the one who killed his wife and daughter. He is being chased but makes a living for a chauffeur service. Dong Chol gets to witness the murder of Seo Park, who is the sole person close to him. Before he dies, Seo Park gave something to Dong Chol, and thus he becomes a suspect and everyone starts to chase him. Colonel Min, who is known as a hunting dog, joins the chase. Dong Chol is caught right in the middle. All right, now, Jason, so we're talking about the movie The Suspect, starring Kong Yu. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about the story itself? Yes, uh, he's a, he essentially plays a, well, an ex-North Korean agent. Mm -hmm. His mother, uh, sorry, his wife and his daughter are, are killed. He goes to the South in search of the killer. Yeah. He is then framed for a murder. He's then on the run. He's also chasing someone <laughs> at the same time. So he gets caught in the middle. He's running around Seoul. He's driving around Seoul. There's lots of carnage, lots of action sequences. Yeah. Uh, some great, great camera work uh -huh. and some great kind of uh, a stunt work as well by Gong Yu. Uh, it's phenomenal the amount of uh, scenes he's had to really push himself. Yeah. So, I mean, he's a, a witness first and then he becomes a suspect. Yeah, he becomes a suspect, but he's also trying to work out who uh, killed his family. His family. Wife, uh, his family yeah. And the action scenes here are, are actually very intense. And what I heard is that he didn't use a stunt double. He did all the action scenes himself. Yeah, he reminded me a little bit of uh, Tom Cruise, who tends to do a lot of his action sequences himself. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. There's uh, a few scenes in this movie that reminded me of Mission Impossible 2 in particular. And also, oh yeah. Hanging course, from that cliff. Hanging from the cliff, but also the Bourne Identity, or the Bourne series, directed by Paul, Paul Greengrass. Mm. A lot of fast paced editing, a lot of kind of mobile uh, camera movements. The camera never stays still. Yeah. I mean, uh, we can see it here in the trailer. I mean, it's really intense and uh, it gets you a bit dizzy even at times. Yeah, and I think the, uh, the, the amount of cameras they used, I think, must have been a dozen at a time at least. Uh, so Hard editing. Hardcore <laughs> editing is all I can say. They must have spent hours and hours, days, weeks and months editing this movie. For the pleasure of the viewers, of course. For the pleasure, and it comes off very well. Okay. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Kong Yu here. He's making a comeback after two years in a movie. Give us some details. Yeah, he's been in a number of films. Um, in most of, most chief among them, in yeah. fact, is uh, The Crucible or Silenced. Uh, Dogani in Korean. Uh, Dogani that attracted uh, over five million viewers. Mm -hmm. He's also in films uh, such as Final Mr. Destiny um, and Coffee Prince, that was a drama. Yeah. So he's been in a lot of stuff and he's played different roles. I think this is the first time that he's played a kind of a full hardcore action hero, yeah. certainly to this extent. And so I think it's really a big transformation for him and his career. Yeah, and like we talked about earlier, the whole stunt uh, scenes that he had to do, I think would have been very demanding on yeah. him physically, emotionally, mentally, and on all the rest of it. Maybe uh, this movie for Kong Yue is going to be the equivalent of The Man from Nowhere or Ajushi. Yeah, there's a lot of... Or One Bean. Yeah, there's a lot of kind of crossover, I think, in terms of trying to attract that female demographic into the theatre for an action movie. They achieved that with Ajashi uh, because of One Bean's uh, yeah. great looks and uh, uh, his, his pretty face and also his fighting skills. Yeah. And here as well, there's a real emphasis on uh, Gong Yu's looks as well as his uh, physical attributes. If you so like. there's somewhat of a, a parallel between those two guys and these two movies too. Yeah, just think about, think about uh, The Bourne Identity and Jason Bourne and then uh, Wong Bin in Adjashi. And then you, somewhere <laughs> in between, you have Gong Yu in uh, The Suspect. Okay, very good. All right, now, Jason, we have Kung Yu as the lead here in this movie, but we also have uh, a series of uh, supporting actors and really good ones as well. Pak Soon, for instance. Yeah, Pak Soon, who's worked with the director uh, Won Shin-young before um, on Seven Days, which mm -hmm. is the director's previous film. Another great kind of uh, thriller uh, that's definitely worthy of attention if you haven't seen it already. Yeah. And uh, he often plays rather gloomy, rather sometimes mm. intense characters. And well, this time he's chasing after Kung Yu. 
Yeah, he's chasing after Gong Yu, um, and he forms a, a, an attachment later on, uh, which is quite interesting because he, he realizes there's more than more than meets the eye in terms of the story behind yeah. uh, the, the North Korean agent. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, Cho Song Ah, for instance. Cho Song Ah, great, great year for him. He was in Commitment. He's been in a whole range of films. And he was in Pluto, one of my favorite films uh, from last year. Yeah. And it's great to see him in, um, doing very, very well in some commercial features. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep an eye out. He's also uh, starring in the drama The Wong Family. The Wong Family, he's in dramas, he's in movies. He's really rising up the ranks in the industry. And it's great to see him uh, getting the attention that he richly deserves. What can you tell us about uh, actress Yu Dain in this movie? Yu Dain, she plays the producer. Um, and I absolutely love her because she's a great, great actress. Really? I, I I have to be careful because I'm married, but uh, she's, she's a great actress. She's great in uh, Re-Encounter, and so it's great to, that's an independent movie. It's great to see her uh, in a great com commercial film with a lot of potential to attract a lot of viewers. Uh -huh. uh, I guess we'll have to keep an eye out on her role as well then. Yeah, and mm. she plays a great supporting role in this film, like I said, the producer, and yeah. she adds a, a dimension to the film. Okay, and last but not least, uh, Kim Song Gyun. Kim Sung Gyu, he has uh, some action sequences, and I heard uh, that Gong Yu has said that, uh, that the action sequence that they were uh, together was the toughest of yeah. the whole project. Apparently, that's what he said. Well, I, I, I can believe it. If you look mm. at the amount of action sequences he's had to uh, take on board, mm. you, I think if he says it's the hardest, then... Any injuries for him, by the way, Kong Yu? Maybe well, small ones. Maybe small ones. Uh, from the press screening, he looked pretty sharp. So yeah. no broken limbs or anything like that. He's still walking on two feet, uh, which is quite surprising given the amount I of know, right? work he had to do. Good job, Kong Yu. Good job. Now, Jason, before we say goodbye, we have to talk about the action scenes here. This we is an action to, right? movie. It's an action movie, and the action sequences are breathtaking. And yeah. I'm not over-exaggerating. Uh, I was sat in the cinema, I was like, wow, this is a career movie with mm. uh, terrific action sequences, as good, if not better than Hollywood movies. Yeah, quite amazing, I think. Yeah, look, look at this, look. Oh, car flying, <laughs> flying around, doing its acrobatics. The director, Wong Shinya, did an absolutely cracking job in orchestrating these uh, sequences. Yeah, maybe a bit dangerous at times also for Kong Yu since he took part and he didn't use a stuntman. Yeah, like I said earlier, it's, it's absolutely a miracle that he's able to walk off these sets without any broken limbs. We have cars, cars going backwards downstairs. Yeah, and that's why I, that's why I said earlier, it reminds me of the kind of the Bourne series and the films that Paul yeah. Greengrass put together. Lots of uh, car sequences, uh -huh. lots of camera movements, lots of rapid editing, and uh, just uh, phenomenally fast-paced sequences. It keeps the viewers on their toes, I guess, the whole time. Yeah, my eyes are almost popping out my head. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. The, the action sequences are fantastically okay. orchestrated. So I guess if you need some entertainment, this is a good movie to watch. Yeah, and it's two hours, over two hours, two hours, 20 minutes, and it flies by. Okay, very good. I'll make sure I check it out. Thank you very much for your updates here today, Jason. Thank you very much indeed. We'll talk to you soon again. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everyone, we talked about the movie Suspect starring Kong Yu today, but next week we'll be back with some more updates. We'll focus on the year 2013 and the movies of the year. We'll have a special edition prepared for you. Thank you very much, Jason. Bye-bye.